hello and welcome here to another video here on this channel and welcome and my cat thinks I'm talking to her so funny thank you so much for popping by again and if you're new here welcome um, if you like what you see and you want to see some more from me I would absolutely love it if you liked this video and hit subscribe and that way you're alerted every time I upload a video also just remember to press the bell because that's the bit that actually alerts you when there's a new video um, but without further ado let's get into the video so today I'm going to be showing you eight free sewing patterns that you can use for occasion wear for this spring summer 2022 so I thought I would just show you what I'm wearing right now which is um, a me made item and if you can see on that side because of the decoration in the background but it's a ruffle sleeve top um, which I made using the peppermint free sewing pattern um, and I really really loved it I thought it was really straightforward it is a little bit big around the tummy area and that is because I've had to choose a size to fit a size to fit my bust area which um, isn't in proportion to the rest of me so I will probably take it in a little bit here at the front maybe pop some darts in same at the back just to give it a bit more shape it does mean that the sleeves are probably bigger than what they would be for my actual size, but I'm not mad about it. I quite like the oversized look. I would love to hear actually if any other you guys out there that have a similar issue to me, whether you just size up on the actual sewing pattern or whether you do um, a larger size for the bodice section and your normal size for your sleeves. And if so, how you make sure that everything joins together well. So love to hear from you. So we'd love to hear if you have any tips for this sort of scenario. But I'm absolutely loving this fabric. I'm closer. So it's a very Moroccan-y style print actually. 100% um, cotton, this one. So this was a little bit pricier, but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It just speaks for itself. You could just do a really simple top. It's nice and cool for the summer months. Um, and it just means that it holds quite a bit of volume where I've done the ruffles, which I love. And um, yeah, I really love this. Um, I can't find the exact um, fabric for this because this is from my local store and they don't actually do it anymore. Um, but if I find something similar, I'll try and link it down below. But I thought this would just be absolutely perfect for summer months, especially if you're going on holiday and you need some more modest if you need some more modest sort of clothing, so like long sleeves, um, whether these are three quarters, or if you just want to keep the sun off your shoulders, etc. etc. So that's one that I made last week. Next week, or maybe this week, we'll see. Um, and I'll be showing you some of the things I get up to during the week because I don't always film all of my makes just because I think that would slow me down quite considerably. So um, I thought I would just show you as well next week a little bit on what I do day to day as well. So, I hope you like the background. I thrifted this today, which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, it's actually what they call a hi-fi system cabinet, but I've repurposed it to make it into sort of a side table where I house all my sewing stuff in here and just keeps it all nice and tidy. Um, I've got my sewing box up the top there, which I also thrifted from the charity shop. Um, and also this little teacup, which I intend to make it into a little pin cushion, um, also from the charity shop. So I've had a lot of successful shopping trips recently. If you'd like to see a video on the sort of things that I managed to find here in the UK, then hit me up in the comments down below and I will maybe create something like that, maybe take you around with me. But I do love a thrift. Um, and so yeah, so yeah, I've had a successful thrifting experience these last few weeks super happy with this corner now because it's all nice and neat the sewing machines all in there and there's just not lots of different fabrics lying around so I am happy and so is Alex <laughs> so um anyway let's get straight into the video so I'm going to be doing a countdown um to the best being number one at the last so hang on in there till the end and I'll start with sewing pattern number one now this first one I really love because it's a very structured dress, however it's very sophisticated, very elegant because it has the high neck um, and it also has these quite voluminous and neat pleats 
and I think it does give a very cutesy sort of style dress. I think this would look absolutely gorgeous in a floral print um, and maybe even like a raw silk sort of style fabric that has a bit more stiffness in it that would create a little bit more volume. Um, but I think this is just an absolutely stunning piece and I could think you could really go all out. You could make the pleated part of the dress even more pleated if you wanted to, um, just to give it a little bit more of a poofy effect, especially if it's for a prom. Um, outfit that you're wanting to make this for. One thing I think um, would be better on, on this is if the buttons at the front were a little bit more sleek. Um, I suppose if you press it down enough then it will be quite nice and flush. Um, but I also think if you did a little bit of a shaping detail here or even just move the button detail to a, a back zip situation then I think that would also look really really cute. Um, because it's got the boxed pleats, it also looks quite neat as well, rather less thr less frilly, tongue twister, um, but a bit more structured, which gives it a little bit more of a classy, elegant and special occasion vibe. Now any of these obviously you could also make using more casual fabrics for just spring, summer in general, um, like a nice cotton or a viscose. Um, I think you would just, with viscose, I think you would just lose the volume a little bit with it. But all possible and you can make it as elegant or as casual as you like. Now, on to sewing pattern number two. Now, this is a really similar style to the first one that I showed you. However, the neckline just screams the 50s. And I don't know about you, if I was to live in any other era other than the Victorian era, it would be the 1950s. I just absolutely love the silhouettes that they that they had back then. Just so fun, so elegant, and just so playful. Um, and this in the red, especially, just looks absolutely gorgeous. But again, you could just do this in any sort of fabric. I probably would go with a fabric that's a little bit more voluminous. So things like a raw silk, a cotton or even a jacquard sort of style fabric I think would look really nice with this dress. Now this neckline where it's kind of folded over just looks so sweet and yeah again just so classy and I can imagine this wearing this with a little fascinator um, and something like that which I think would just look absolutely stunning. Again it looks really simple as well, nice straight lines, a nice dart down from the bust area um, and again, the really neat pleats. So rather than the frills, just really nice boxy pleats. So onto the, fr the free pattern number three. And I just think this skirt is one of those really swishy skirts that are just so fun and you feel so lovely in dancing around on the dance floor. Um, and yeah, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now onto the free pattern for number three is the Inara dress by Mood Society and if you guys have not tried Mood Society before oh my gosh they've got such a huge range of free sewing patterns um, I would definitely check them out they're just absolutely brilliant um, I've tried to, I've tried their Wilder top which is almost like a Bolero style top um, I'll link that up at the top there so if you can see that one if you're interested um, I'm gonna make a few more of those because I did really love it I didn't make that one in a viscose and I think it just turned out a little bit more flat and I had issues with the shaping, just losing the shape with the viscose itself. So I'm definitely going to try it again in more colours. And actually I bought this gorgeous bed sheet which was brand new, fully packaged, in this lovely chocolate brown. And I just think that would look absolutely gorgeous in that. So I'm definitely going to be making one of those. But it was a very easy pattern, minimal pieces really easy to construct, no over overlock needed. And yeah, I would highly recommend. Now, this Anara dress is just the definition of perfection. Now, I love a wrap dress and I love wearing a wrap dress to work. I love wearing a wrap dress to go out for a night. Um, well, I don't really do nights out anymore, but for, for a dinner out um, or just at any occasion really. And I think you could really play it up depending on the fabric that you want to use. Like in, in their example, they've used a very metallic um, shimmery fabric, which would be perfect for say Christmas, Christmas do or a wedding. But I also think in any sort of jersey fabric, this would just look absolutely stunning. Um, I could just imagine it in a floral print with a lovely, maybe exaggerated bow on the side. 
um, especially if you manage to interface it with a stiffer fabric you could really make a statement bow along with a very simple wrap design it's just a lovely example of a very elegant piece where it shows some skin around the neckline but not too much um, and I think it's good for any bust size really whether it's slightly larger like me or whether more petite I think it just wraps around your body and figure just perfectly and because you can adjust things with the tie waist again not so much of an issue in terms of fit and most importantly there's room for plenty of food and a food baby to be catered for priorities <laughs> Now this next one, not biased at all, but it is my lovely frill peplumed bodycon dress that I self drafted that I self drafted myself, obviously with self drafted. Um, but I'll link that video up at the top um, here. Um, I wore it for Valentine's Day and I absolutely loved it. Um, and it's going to be my go to dress for every dinner occasion yet but it's also the perfect dress for a wedding occasion um, but also for a casual summer dress or even as a holiday dress so it's super versatile and um, yeah if you do make it I would love to see it so do tag me on my instagram at and.editedlife in general I post more day to day things on there so if you want to see my makes in advance then you can check out my Instagram as well I usually post things a little bit earlier over on there but yeah this dress is just absolutely gorgeous it's very form-fitting and um, because it's it covers the knee again very elegant perfect for an occasion um, and the cute little ruffle detail on the shoulder just gives it a little bit more volume and a little bit more of a statement vibe and again just super comfortable plenty of space for food yet again you sensing a theme here with me and my food um but yeah because it's made of jersey plenty of stretch super comfortable um and just perfect for the summer season parisian dress and um this is by so different i'll link all the patterns that i mentioned down in the description box down below um just so you can find them super easily and also if i forget to mention who they're by then they're all um noted down at the bottom um, but again, this is again a really simple dress, minimal pattern pieces. So if you're looking to create something last minute, I think this is a super easy one to make. Um, again, super elegant, this time with more of a cowl neckline, which I think is absolutely stunning. Lovely with a really simple necklace or with a choker, I think it just looks stunning. Um, and again, just a very simple waist where you can just tie at the waist, which just cinches. Cinch cinches cinches you in in the right places and again just gives you plenty of room to eat when you're at your event. Now this dress is just absolute perfection. It's the ultimate princess dress that you would have ever dreamed of as a child and it's the Phoebe dress by Rebecca Page and again you could make this as casual as you like and you could make it as occasion like as you want really um, again going more stiffer more glittery metallic fabrics but this one just is so sassy um, yet so elegant it has a lovely swooping neckline so a triangle shaped um, top it gives you the option to create a little um, backing on this area if you're just not into the low bust situation um, and again it just flares out and it uses panels on the sides just to create that volume and again it just has a little waistband around the top um, at your narrowest point which is just super flattering I think this is a really great option if you want this as a wedding guest then you could make it shorter so it looks a little less wedding dress like you could do it just below the knee or you could do it above the knee um, above the knee I think it would just look absolutely gorgeous as a prom dress and if you underlined it with some tall um, fabric or just put a tall skirt underneath just to create that volume I think you could just really get that lovely swing vibe and I think it's just absolutely stunning I could also really imagine this in polka dot print or now coming up to spring, summer, lots of pastels I think would just look absolutely gorgeous with this dress. I think this dress probably has to be 
my favourite out of all the dresses. Now number six is just such a classic elegant dress. It's this sheath dress dress from SoMag um, and it's just absolutely stunning. It would be so versatile for so many different fabrics whether you choose a more heavyweight fabric, um, a jacquard fabric and although it's very form-fitting it's still very elegant and very classy because you have a high neckline and as well you've got the sleeveless shoulders which would look lovely if you had a little shawl over the shoulders always nice to show a little bit of shoulder here um, and it's just above the knee again you could make that longer quite easily if you wanted to you could use a fabric that has a little bit more shimmer in it you could use a floral fabric like they have in the in their example here um, but I think you just really can't go wrong with a dress like this. I think it is a wardrobe staple to have a dress of this shape and design and it's something you'd pull out year and year again and it's definitely on my list to do. Well if you wanted to make this in a more plain fabric I think this would even look nice as a super elevated working outfit. So if you're back to the office also, I think this is a great option as well. Really imagine this in a suiting fabric or in just a plain black fabric. And I just think it looks so elegant and perfect for the office and for the summer season. Now, last but not least is a two piece. Um, again, just really versatile to have these two pieces in your wardrobe to mix and match. But the first one is this pencil skirt from So Mag. Um, again, you could make this in such a vast variety of fabrics and again, I think this could also look really nice in a plainer fabric for a work outfit with a lovely blouse. Um, but pairing this with this beautiful scallop detailed camisole, which is a free pattern from Tammy Handmade, which I just think is an absolute amazing pattern. I'm definitely going to be trying this one out. It just looks so fun and just so perfect for the spring summer season and I think paired together this pencil skirt and this camisole would just make such an elegant outfit. Again I will pop Tammy Handmaid's video in the description box down below so you can check that out as well. I hope you guys found those helpful if you did then do hit the like button down below it just lets me know that you're enjoying this video um, I'm thinking of doing the same for spring, so if you are interested in that then do let me know in the comments down below as well. That way I know to put together one for spring also. So thank you so much for watching, if you're still here, thank you so much. Let me know that you've made it to the end just by putting a little let's do a kissing emoji down in the description box down below. And for the next video I will be uploading my sewing vlog, so if you want to see that then do hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell just so you're alerted when that comes live. Usual posting times if you've not been here before are Wednesday at 7.30am and I can't wait to see you in the next video. For prom season or whether that is for... Uh,